chapter 13, lesson 3, is word problems. So which means now we're using the same formulas, but instead of just looking at a single figure, it's a combination of things with words. Okay, so um, the problem that I've selected is on page 144. So it says in the problem, the figure shows a rectangular field with a path two meters wide around it. Okay, find the area of the path. Okay, so here there's a drawing. So you have the field and you have the path around it. Okay, so I'm gonna put the measurement of the path inside so that you see. Okay, so that is two meters. That's two meters. That's two meters. And this is two meters. Okay, so it's asking for what is the area of the path. Okay, so to find that, we basically need the area of the big rectangle. This one. Minus the area of the smaller rectangle, the field. So this is the field. Okay, which gives us the area of the walkway. Okay, there's no other way to find the area of the walkway unless we do this method, which means area of the big thing, and then remove that gives you the area of what's left over. Now, the dimensions of the thing, the figure, is given. So this is 2, they said this is 2. This is up to here is 25, and that's 2. Okay, so if we follow that, that would be 20. 9 meters. Okay, so which means in here, they say that this is 12 from here to here. So 12 meters. This is 2 meters and this is also 2 meters. So if we follow that, that whole breadth is technically 14 plus 2 is 16 meters. Okay, so which means the area of this rectangle would technically be the length if I wrote it down as 2 plus 25 plus 2 multiplied by the breadth, which is technically 2 plus 12 plus 2. Okay, then I'm going to subtract the area of the field. So the area of the field is technically the length is 25 and the breadth is 12. Okay, so which means that's my question mark. Okay, so this is 29 times this is 16. Okay, then minus 25 times 12. Okay, so clearly this has to be computational. Now, uh, the kids at grade 4 are not allowed to use calc yet. When they're in grade 5, then calculators are allowed. So, which means this is computational. We have to do 29 times 16. So, I leave that for you to do. If you multiply, that would be 464. Okay, then if we subtract, this computationally again will be 25 times 12. Okay, so again, I leave that for you to do. Okay, if you compute, that would be 300, which means if we subtract, that will be 164, and this is meters squared. So the area of the walkway is 164 meters squared. That concludes lesson 3 of chapter 13, which also concludes the chapter. See you in the next